so some of the rarest uniques in Diablo 2 Resurrected are absolute trash. Now you're super excited to find these if you're doing a holy grail, but that's about it. You find one of these on Battle.net and you're pissed off because it's worth absolutely nothing. Now that is not the case for all of them though. Some of them you're absolutely ecstatic to find, and one such item like that is the Griffin's Eye. But where can you actually find one of these, and where are you going to find it the absolute fastest? That's what we're going over right here today. Where is the best place for you to get out and hunt for that Griffin's Eye? Now you might think a lot like the Shaco, maybe you'll get out and farm Andariel, or maybe get out and farm Mephisto, and get yourself that Griffin's Eye. That is not going to be the case. These monsters are not high enough level in order to drop that type of item. So we're going to have to go look in some other areas. So the first one up I will mention is Running Pindle Skin. Almost everyone knows where Pindle Skin is. You just hop through that red portal in Act 5. The way to get down to Neil Thack and boom, Pindle is right there just inside. Now with an incredibly fast character, you could even run these as fast as like 20 seconds per run. Now Pindle can drop almost every single item in the game. I believe there are three or four that he cannot drop, so you can get a ton of other good stuff along the way looking for that Griffin's Eye. So if you don't want to just cycle through one run Pindle over and over, you can always throw in some other stuff. Another monster that I love throwing in, it's also very quick to run, and that is running Thresh Shocket. Thresh Shocket's drop odds for the Griffin's Eye are almost identical to Pindle, and sometimes the Thresh Shocket runs can be even faster than Pindle. It's one of those ones that I like to throw on, go out and hit Thresh Shocket, come back through the waypoint, and head down to Pindle and take him out, rinse and repeat. There are a few other monsters here in Act 5 that can also drop the Griffin's Eye, but they are not as efficient to run. Next up, one you might think is, hey, maybe you'll just seal pop into Chaos Sanctuary and just rip Diablo over and over again. Now, even though Diablo is incredibly high level, there actually is a item level cap there on Diablo. So actually, crazy enough, Diablo can't drop you that Griffin's Eye. But if you're running the Chaos Sanctuary, take out all of the champions and bosses around there because each and every one of them are high enough level to drop that Griffin's Eye for you. And there are many many of these champions all throughout the Chaos Sanctuary. Now even though each and every champion in those boss packs can drop you that Griffin's Eye, actually crazy enough, the seal bosses themselves cannot. They fall under that same type of item cap that falls on Diablo. They can definitely drop some great items, there is no doubt, but actually getting that Griffin's Eye, not from those seal bosses. Places where a lot of people will go look for this Griffin's Eye and also having the possibility to drop every single item in the game, and that is the different types of 85 areas. I mean, these include, but are not limited to, places like the Pits is notoriously great for hunting those incredibly rare uniques. You can hit the Ancient Tunnels. You can come out to one of the new ones for Diablo 2 Resurrected, the Stony Tombs. You could hit the River of Flames and the entire Chaos Sanctuary, or the entire Worldstone Keep is actually an 85 area where those champions and unique monsters can drop everything in the game, including that Griffin's Eye. And then obviously at the end of the world stone keep we've got bale himself the highest level monster in the game can drop everything but i feel like bale's just too inefficient to actually run bale in order to try to find good items definitely take him out and take those items when you get there when you're running for experience but to actually just get out and farm not the most efficient one thing that is important to note and i'm going to be honest even myself i did not know this until just recently a lot of just the regular white monsters in a ton of these 85 areas can actually drop you the Griffin's Eye. So if you're specifically trying to get things like high runes and then also maybe getting this Griffin's Eye in a lot of these areas, maybe if you can slaughter the mobs fast enough, that might not be a bad strategy to kind of help you out. They do have incredibly low drop odds. It's like one in two and a half million kills. But if you're killing 100 or 200 of them per run, you could see how maybe that could help you out get you finding that Griffins a little bit faster. Now with some of that basic information out of the way on where it can drop, I'm gonna give you my opinion on the best places to hunt for that Griffins. So I'm gonna give you three different ones here. First off we're gonna talk about is running Pindle. And if you would like to, it's all up to your opinion. And this is what I like to do is actually throw Thresh Shocket into that run too. These runs you can do so incredibly fast. You can get out there and just slap one down, slap the other one down and hop to the next run. You can do these so quickly, they're also not bad to throw on to the end of some other kind of run, or if you're waiting for someone to teleport down to Bale, or even if you think pretty much the Terror Zone is done and you want to just go out and run these real quick just to get one more little run in with another chance to find that Griffins, they're great for little add-ons. Next one I'll mention here is probably the most popular place to hunt incredibly rare uniques in Diablo 2 Resurrected, and that is the pits. That's because with the pits, you actually get two separate levels. The first level can have six to eight champions, and the bottom level can have 
two or three champions. So that means for this incredibly easy area, just act one down in the pits, you can get eight to 12 champions. If you're running other areas like the stony tombs, or if you're running the ancient tunnels, you're not gonna get that many. Not to mention if you're running the 85 areas in other places like we'll say the chaos sanctuary or the entire world stone keep, those areas are so much more difficult compared to just act one of hell. So you can run this with any character, sorceress absolutely can slap down there, but the guaranteed go-to for those experienced magic finders is get yourself an item find barbarian. Getting that item skill up high enough, you can actually give yourself another chance of getting that griffins off of any of the monsters. So next up, it's gonna be another combo type of thing, similar to the first idea I gave you where you can run Threshock and Pindle together. This one is actually two different places. They're very similar. So I'm gonna lump them together here. And that is either running the Stony Tombs or the Ancient Tunnels. Ancient Tunnels is an absolute classic from the beginning of time of Diablo 2. As soon as people discovered what 85 areas were, that you could find every item in the game down there, people have been farming there. Stony Tombs is a little bit newer to the game, but people absolutely love running there too, and I am no exception. Once again, they're very early, just in Act 2, so the monsters are not difficult. They're actually pretty darn slow down there. You do gotta watch out for poison when you're down in these tombs in Act 2, but with the exception of that and maybe the lightning from the beetles, there's not too much to worry about. So to slide in then here, obviously, what's gonna be a very good place, it only works if you're playing online on ladder, but obviously the Terror Zones, with the high level characters are going to be a good place to find yourself a griffin's eye wherever the terror zones are if your character is a high enough level every monster could have the chance to drop yourself that griffin's now the monster level in the terror zones is based off the level of the person who created the actual game so just to briefly cover like what level you would kind of need to be for these terror zones to actually drop you a griffin's eye realistically i would just get to level 82 because the Griffin's Eye is only item level 84. As you see from the chart right here, the base monsters are two level higher than the person who created the game. So if you're in health difficulty, you're level 82, then the base monsters are gonna be level 84. Every single monster in all of the terror zones you ever run will be high enough level to actually drop that. So basically what I'm saying is if you're high enough to be running terror zones in hell, you're probably high enough level to be finding that Griffin's Eye from any monster in those zones. So I kind of saved that one for the end because it's really the most boring and it only goes for the people who are playing online on ladder. So it's kind of the least useful tip of the entire video, but I would be remiss if I didn't note Terror zones with a high level area, you definitely could find your Griffins there. Well, now that you got your Griffin's Eye, do you need an SOJ or a Shaco? If you do, check out one of these two videos right up over here. They're going to show you the fastest way to get those. Make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm before you go and subscribe up if you haven't done so already. Peace out, fellas. And don't forget, keep slaying.